Hi, I'm Jerry Dill at Dill's Greenhouse. Today is March 11th. Uh, two things are happening this week. Our gift certificate sale is still on. Buy $100, get a $25 gift certificate for free. That ends Sunday when we close. And the other thing is we're going to have a behind the scene tours on Saturday at 1 o'clock. It's usually a real well attended event. We're going to take you out back and show you everything. So with that in mind, I'm going to show you just a couple things I'm going to sh we're going to show people Saturday. So come Saturday if you get a chance, bring your uh, questions. We'll try to answer anything we can. So everybody always says, well, how do you water all these hanging baskets? I mean, how many hours does it take you? Well, the, the, the truth is it takes about two minutes. And so I'm going to show you how that works. So now I'm going to show you how we water the baskets. We got three different zones in this house where we probably have 2,500 baskets. So all we do is just pull this lever. As soon as I pull that, you'll be able to see above me how the baskets are starting to drip. So every basket at this layer is getting watered right now. It takes about 45 minutes. We let them get real dry before we water them. So I literally, I said it takes a couple minutes. So we come in here, I come back in 45 minutes and I turn it off and I'm done. So the baskets are done. So now we're going to go in, into our uh, fertilizer room. I'm going to show you a few things in there. So now we're back in the mechanical room, and this is our generator. In our business, we can't be without power ever, especially on a cool night like last night. I think it was 27. If the power goes out, I lose a bunch of plants. So this is wired to our electricity. As soon as the power goes off from AEP or whoever source you have, this will kick in within a minute and power the whole place up. And I'll just show you, this will be a, it, it does it automatically, but if you had to do it manually, you just. So this is maybe the most, one of the most important pieces of equipment we have here. So if I'm at home, power goes off, I don't have to worry about it. It will call me and I will come out, obviously, but I got power. And one thing I forgot to tell you, which is really important, this is on natural gas. So it's hooked up to the natural gas line. I don't have to worry about uh, power being out at all the gas stations also, and I can't find gas. So natural gas, generator, run the whole place automatically. So now we're back. We're going to look at our watering system, how we water th plants and make them grow well. Uh, we have two wells. Uh, the pH of the water on the wells is almost 8 which is terrible. You cannot water anything at eight. pH is a, a scale that you have to control. We do it with sulfuric acid. It's in this tank right behind us. We inject that into the system, the water or well water. And then behind me, you'll see a pH meter is reading six, five, uh, six, six right now. So we got that eight water down to six, six. And that's pretty much ideal, six to six, six and you can grow nice plants. We also inject fertilizer, the fertilizer coming out of this tank here. Um, and it gets mixed with the water. And so when we're water outside, we're watering low fertilizer with acid in the water, and that's why the plants grow well. 